Okay, so hey, what's going on, guys? You and me for the win or Universal Minecraft Daily Tutorials here, and today we are doing episode five, I believe, of um, the one point Minecraft one point twelve point two modding uh, tutorial series. And today we are going to be doing uh, not crafting recipes. We're doing that in the next one, but today we are going to be doing. Um, item fuels so what we want to do is we want to go into item in it and we're going to obviously make a new item so we're going to do pub what the hell? public static final item and we're going to do um, radioactive radioactive do -do -do -do. okay joking equals yeah, radioactive coal equals new class of radioactive coal. We're going to have a class specifically for this item. And we're going to do um, radioactive underscore coal. And yes, I spelt radioactive wrong. Congratulations, me. It's not good, but I'm doing that in science at the moment. Right, so in items, we're going to create a new class. We're going to call it Radioactive Goal. Why can I not spell today? Well, not type. I can spell, I just can't type. Radioactive Coal extends item base and implement. I has model you know what, I'm just gonna extend item I don't want to extend item base that's boring and import net minecraft item and I has model we're gonna do the constructor which we could copy from item base but it's good practice just writing it out really set so unlocalized name to name set our registry name to name set our creative tab to tutorial mod dot enter and then we want item in it dot items dot add this And now we want our register models function. Oops, what happened there then? It's rude. Oh, and let's just enable this. Why not? Send. I don't even know what the error was, but whatever. Oh, why did I tap that back? Okay, sure. And in here we want tutorial space mod dot proxy dot register item render this zero inventory and, and it's very simple to do this by the way guys so let me just import this so we can get rid of the errors because I don't like errors and that's gone right good so, this is as simple as adding another method. So, it's literally, if we type in burn, get item burn time. And it's return, because it's an int, into the value right there. Uh, we can just return 500. And that should... Boom. Done. That's it. Now this will burn for 500 seconds, I think. Is it seconds or ticks? I'm really hoping it's seconds. Because 500 ticks isn't long. Now I'm pretty sure it's seconds. So yeah, 500 seconds. Let's set it to 600 seconds so it can be 6 minutes. No, 10 minutes. Which is pretty overpowered. 
Um, actually, I'll set it to that so it's five minutes. And yeah, that's it. I've already done the model. Uh, now I just need to do the texture. So yeah, I will do that now by opening paint.net. Open back Eclipse. There you go. And I suppose we'll run the game. I'm hoping this will work. I don't even know if the model will work. I'm pretty sure it will. I'm pretty sure I've set it so the model will work. I did that off cam, by the way. So I did do the Jason and the Lang, uh, but I did it off cam because I just thought it's a bit boring. Obviously I will do them for more complicated things, but when it's things such as items, you can just copy the previous one. That's exactly what I did. I copied the Obsidian Inga. Um, so, we'll have a look. We'll test it uh, by trying to smelt the Obsidian, because that will, you know, it's just, yeah, nice we can be sure it works. So yeah, at some point we will get onto tile entities. Uh, entities, I really want to do entities because I, it's been requested to me a lot. And I'd say I'm... I, I know what to do with them. Uh, sadly, I can't figure out their AI. Um, I, w I would like to. I'm going to ask someone if they can help me with that one because um, apparently it's pretty pretty simple uh, it just involves a lot of maths and that's the thing that I'm not good at uh, I'm good at maths but just like Java maths and programming maths in general just isn't my strong so let's go into our tab let's grab our radioactive coal which does work as an item there you go, we'll just add it to the board of love. That's not what I'm going to call it. I might end up calling it now, I really hope I don't. So let's grab a piece of obsidian. Let's grab our furnace. Put it in there. Radioactive coal. And it works, as you can see. So it looks like that's only 300 ticks, then. So that's pretty bad. Um, I think we could change that up. Because um, obviously it's radioactive coal, so it's obviously going to give off a long time. Uh, and I'll make you radium ingots so you can craft them together and it gives you that. Um, if I go into here, I'm thinking maybe if I times that by like 10, so like 3000, would be a, a better choice. Uh, we'll just test this real quick, so I'll meet you in the game. Alright guys, so it smells 15 items, that's pretty decent. Uh, bear in mind, it's only coal and uranium ingot which it's going to take, uh, which we'll do in the next video, which will be crafting recipes. Um, as you know, the next video might be food and then crafting recipes, um, just because it's a bit simpler, really. Um, so yeah, anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to smash your face onto that like button, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more, 
then uh, yeah please tell me in the comments and uh, share this video and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye